Welcome back to NYC Pops and today we got two more mystery boxes. We have Templar Pops, which is a smaller company, but I hear great things about them. And we have J Navo, which is very well known in the mystery box game. But I think these game these guys, Templar Pops, are making a name for themselves, so this was a $30 mystery box. It was, uh, there's two pops in here. It's called, give me a sec, Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Two or four pops per box. So the minimum is two, I could have up to four pops in here. $25 guaranteed value in this box. When you buy mystery boxes, you wanna try to look for those. Guaranteed value. Cause you wanna minimize the chance of the money you're losing. So this was a $30 box, shipped, meaning $30 with shipping. So if I get the minimum, which is 25 out of this, I'm not losing. So there's no way I could lose. And I'll tell you right now how many pops I fill in here. One, two, three, I got four pops. So I'll tell you right now, I don't think I got anything great. Cause I could have had two really high priced pops and I know I didn't. Cause I got four. So the deal is, uh, check out this bamboo suits. If I go under value, but to be honest, I doubt I'll be under value with four pops. It's very difficult for that to happen. But hold up, uh, these are very well wrapped. All right, here's the first one. I'm trying to take it out and not look. Ooh. Okay, so this is Yu Yu Hakushu, Ghost Files, Jusuki. I ain't gonna lie, I don't watch any anime other than Dragon Ball, but this is a really cool pop. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna keep it because I'm not gonna start watching the show. I already need to catch up on Dragon Ball Super, so I definitely don't have time for a new show. And we'll check the PPGs in a while. Probably when we take all four of them out the box. So the second one is Panic at the Disco. This is Brendan Yuri. You know what? I do not know this guy. This is crazy. He's a pop rocks, so he's an artist. And he was a Hot Top exclusive. Um. I do not know who he is. Some of y'all probably know who he is, so I'm sorry for not knowing. All right, so at least we got an exclusive out of these. That ain't bad. I just never heard of that pop or the actual artist himself. All right, this one was a little, it's a little tight. Is this a two pack? No, this is not a two-pack ad. I just saw what it is by mistake. I didn't want to. <laughs> Alright. This or package very, very tight. Can't even get it out. And I saw the last two pops because of that. Alright, so the other one came out. So my girl's probably gonna love this one. Because she loves Avatar. If I could get it off. Yeah, no, this is not the chase. I believe this is the one that has the chase, right? No, this is not the chase. Hot Topic exclusive and on air scooter. But this is just the, I don't want to say the common because it's an exclusive, but a lot of Hot Topic exclusives because the last pop, do we have anything else in here? Nope. The last pop is also a Hot Topic exclusive. And I'm not gonna lie, the glow, the shine on the, the glitter on that diamond is really nice. We got Oogie Boogie with bugs. Oh, I see the bugs. I should take this one out of box. But I'm scared for all the glitter to go all over. So, we could play the little game the pop is right, like the price is right. Um, from Nerdy Noob. I like when she does that. 
So I want to say Oogie Boogie might be the most expensive one. Then I want to go with Ang. And maybe, wait a minute. All four of these are Hot Topic exclusive. What? Templar Pops, did you just buy all of these with hot cash? Did you just buy all of these with hot cash? Nah, I can't say much. I gotta give you guys a second chance. I'll definitely be buying another box. I've seen a few boxes come up, but I haven't thrown my hands on them yet. So this is my prediction for their prices. So let's check if I was right. Uh, by the way, this is from lowest to highest. So I believe Oogie Boogie Diamond Edition is gonna be the most expensive one. And Yu Yu Hakashu, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. It's going to be the cheapest one. All right, so the Funimation is $15. And this one is supposed to be PPG at 16 Not bad for a $35 box, $30 ship box. So we're doing good so far. And most likely not the lowest value now that I say that one is $16. let us go to the second one, our Pop Rocks. All right, so this guy is worth 15 So we got 16 and 15 so far. So that's going to be a switcheroo. And let's check out Ang. This is only worth $12. So I am not doing too good at this game. And lastly, we have Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie is also worth $15. And this one is worth $16. Crazy. Crazy. We got two um, animations two animes that I don't care for. We got a Pop Rocks that I don't care for. This is kind of cool. So overall, for me personally, not something I enjoy, but did we get our value for our money? Hell yeah. And these all happen to be Hot Topic exclusive, so probably some hot cash. All right guys, we moving on to the big boy over here. Guaranteed value and uh, they came in two separate boxes. This is probably, this is a $50. So $25, $25 mystery box. And with shipping, it came up to like $59. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna include the shipping and the cost. So $30 and $30 mystery box. So the same as Templar Pops, which is open. But these only have two pops in it. So, these should be, well, if you put them together, Templar Pops is probably giving you more value for your buck. Because I doubt two Pops in here, it could happen, you never know. But I doubt two Pops in here are going to be worth, what was that? That was close to, close to $60 in value. Very close to $60. Um, so one of these is going to be in a Pop Protector. This is his business card. One of them is going to be in a paw protector, which is probably from the picture because he posts a picture with you're guaranteed to get something in that picture. So he, if it's 50 boxes, he'll showcase 50 pops and every box is going to have one of those pops. And then the other one is going to be a random pop, most likely. Let me see. I don't want to look. I'm just trying to feel which one's the one with the protector. So this is this does not have a protector. So let me take that one out first. All right, so we have this is heavy. We have Audrey 2 Little Shop of Horrors. I've never heard of this, but I think I'm keeping this. Little Shop of Horrors. I I really never heard of this. What is this, a movie? That's weird. All right, so the other pop should be in a protector. Let me see, yeah, it's in a pop protector. And we have, oh God. I do not collect sports pops. I don't play sports games on, on a console. And I don't collect sports pops, so yeah. We got Leonard, Frenet. Yeah. 
Yeah, even if this is worth something, I don't care about this. I'll probably be selling this one ASAP. Honestly. So let's check for value. All right, so this one is worth $19. What? So the one in the pop protector is worth $12. And this is worth $19. This could have dropped in price like crazy. I think I got this about a month ago, but $12? 12 and 19. So that gives me a total of $31. That's crazy. You know what? I'm about to eat a jelly bean just for the heck of it, because this is crazy. All right, guys. Pray I'm getting something good. Oh, this is the white one. This is the worst one. Spoiled milk or coconut. I'm getting spoiled milk or coconut. Hit that like button. Make sure you turn the spoiled milk into coconut. Hit that like button. Didn't I tell you to hit the like button? Now that I put myself through this, you think you could hit the like button now? This is disgusting. It's almost as bad as Rotten Eggs, but Rotten Eggs is worse. Why did I do that? <laughs> I was a dollar over value. All right, guys, on to box number two. Let's see what we have here. That's crazy how that pop in the sorter was so bad. But that shows you how how fast the pop can go up or down on price. Because I'm sure if it was in the pop protector, it's because it was worth something. At least more than the $19. Maybe this one up too. Who knows? All right, guys. These are a little hard to open. So I'm trying my best. This is not in a protector, so I'm taking this one out first. What do we have here? Oh, oh no, I have this box. All right, so we got Mr. Fantastic, but this is not the common one. This is the one that comes in the Marble Collector Corps. So it's a rare one and hard to find, but that box, when I bought it, it was going for eight for $12, and it went all the way down up to $8.73. It's one of those Amazon boxes, the Fantastic Four, yeah. I have the box. I haven't opened my box, but I have the box. And I know that's not worth much. And over here, we have a Rick and Morty. We have Rick with Portal Gun. Don't think this is gonna be worth too much, but let's find out, right? And Mr. Fantastic is worth a whole $7. So let's check Rick. Rick is worth a whole 17 so right now i'm definitely on the value 17 plus 7 24 dollars so i guess i'm eating another jelly bean oh no <laughs> you, you can't be you can't be spoiling milk twice in a row right this one has to be the coconut think be the coconut make sure you hit that like button i hope you did it earlier What is it? So, it's either mixing in with the spoiled milk flavor I already had, because it don't taste like anything, or the spoiled milk I had is overpowering the coconut. I think it is spoiled milk. Yeah, it's definitely spoiled milk. All right, guys. Um, let me know down in the comments below which one you think was the best value for your money. Honestly, so definitely Templar Pops if I had to pick. I'll see you guys on the next one. Just don't forget to subscribe. Hope you left that like and leave me a comment below. What do you think of these boxes or any of the boxes you bought lately? Let me know.